Welcome back, Chippers, uh, to another edition of Chippers TV. Uh, this week, we're going to go over a couple of basic types of clamps, and then we're going to actually build uh, a cutting board. So what I want to talk to you about is we've got some different clamps here. This particular clamp is called a bar clamp. Kind of a fancy name, huh? See, it's got a bar on it, and it has a clamp. The other one we're going to look at is this is called a pipe clamp. Just like it sounds, it's a clamp for clamping wood in pieces, but it's made out of a piece of threaded pipe. Another one that you can have that we've seen that we've used, that you can use for clamping wood for uh, gluing or just to get things lined up, is a spring clamp. So there's a spring clamp. And the last one is another type of clamp. And if you look at it, they call it a C clamp. So very basic names. But what we're going to do today is we're actually going to make a cutting board. Now to make a cutting board, you want to make sure that you're using hardwood, not softwood. So you're not going to use pine or ash or anything like that. What you're going to use is what I have here is I got a bunch of different pieces, but I've got some cherry and uh, some maple and some walnut. And then you can look at the pieces and when you line them up before you start your gluing process, you want to see how you want it to line up. And what I decided was to put some of the darker texture on the outside, two lighter ones towards the middle, and then the dark one in the middle. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue that, and then we're going to go ahead and show you how we can sand that down using three different types of sanders. We're going to use a belt sander, an orbital sander, and a finish sander. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually glue this together. We've talked about in previous episodes about different types of fasteners that we can actually bind wood together. Uh, we've used uh, brad nails, we've used screws, and we've used a little bit of glue or a combination of glue and screws and nails. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to spread the glue out and we're going to use these bar clamps to clamp down our piece to make our cutting board. So I'm going to go ahead and spread the glue out and we're only gluing one side because we're going to alternate it and I'll show you how that goes. So we got to get this all out wipe up our little bit of a mess and we're going to get that all out make sure that we get enough because you want enough on it to make sure that you cover the entire piece. So we've got that set, and then we're gonna take our glue, and then we're gonna spread that around. And we're gonna make sure that we cover the whole edge so that glue is gonna push out when we actually clamp it together. So we'll get that on there, and make sure we got a good coverage. And then we're gonna do each piece the same way to the ends. So then we're going to take that and put that on there. And then we're going to alternate each piece, but when we actually put these together, you don't want to clamp it too tight to start with because you want to make sure that you've got all your pieces straight. And what I mean by that is you want to have a good angle on the side here um, because the straighter the sides, the less work you're going to have to do to square it up uh, after the glue dries. So we're going to take these pieces and we're going to alternate them. One down, the other one down, 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 and down. So then what we're going to do is we're going to start tightening these up just a little bit. We don't want to get them too tight. We just want it to get started. Because then we're going to have to take them and we're going to have to push them together because we want them as square as possible. So we're going to get those square. I'm going to wipe the excess off the top just a little bit. But I'm going to take my square and I'm going to check it to make sure that we're fairly square on both sides. So we know that we've got it squared up. So we got those square. Wipe off our glue off of our square. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it one more push to make sure everything's lined up. Okay, so now uh, we're trying to square it up, but I got a piece that's out, so I'm going to pound that a little bit. Let 
make sure that we're all lined up and then we're going to take it and we're going to tighten a little bit more but here's the trick when you're gluing it's going to bow and bend underneath a little bit so to make sure that it's not bowed in place i've tried using the mallet but it doesn't work as well so what works for me is i take a brick and i'm going to take this and put that on and i'm going to put a board on top of it and i'm going to give it a little tap and a little tap and then we're going to put the brick on top to make sure that both sides are underneath where we need them to be and they are then we press down and then we're going to tighten our clamps up and once we have these tightened up you'll see that the glue is oozing out of the top so we're going to take that and we're going to wipe that off a little bit if you clean it off now it'll be easier to sand and finish when you get done so we wipe off as much as we can and then we're going to take another clamp and we're going to take this and we're going to put it on the top on the other side in the middle this way we get clamps all the way around and as you can see you can see the glue oozing through where I've just clamped it so we're going to tighten these up wipe that off and then we got to let that dry before we finish up and then the next step is we'll take the clamps off and then we'll start our sanding process okay so now I've taken the clamps off but because I wasn't completely square I got to cut off the edges and smooth out these edges so what I've got here is a sliding compound miter saw that this pulls out and we can cut it and slide it back and that's going to square off of edges so I've taken it and taken the cutting board put it on the saw base and before we do anything with hand tools or power tools I'm going to put my safety glasses on and I've already squared this edge off so I'm going to square off the other edge so we've got the power plugged in hands out of the way fired up okay and what that's done for us is it squared off our edges so now we're we're square all the way around on both sides but after the gluing when I took the clamps off you can see where the bars were because you can see where some of the glue chunks have hung on so we're going to take that and you can use a, a putty knife or I'm going to use a little chisel and I'm going to take that and scrape carefully and scrape off the big pieces before we do any sanding and make it easier to sand so get those piece chunks off and that'll square this all up so get the most part off on that side make sure there's none on the other side so then we're ready to come over and we're going to use the belt sander and then we're going to go ahead and do the rough sanding but when we do that that's the grain of the wood and with the belt sander we have to actually sand it in the same direction as the grain and that's very important because if you do it the other way it's going to scratch your wood and you won't be able to get the scratches out when you use a finish sander so I've got the belt sander and this is going to do our rough sanding and remember we got to go with the grain so we're going to go back and forth like this and you don't want to press too hard because it sands really uh, it's going to give us a real rough sanding job but it does take off a lot of wood so you don't want to get any wobbles in it so you want to keep it even so we're just going to go back and forth
going to continue that on both sides and then we'll go to the orbital sander with a uh, finer fin. Now that we've gone over this with the uh, belt sander to get all our rough spots off, now what we're going to do is we're going to use an orbital sander. This spins around so we don't have to worry about going with the grain because this actually orbits around in a circular motion. So we put our safety glasses on and then we're going to go ahead and sand this down with this uh, 80 grit paper and then uh, once we get that done on both sides we'll go ahead and finish it with the uh, finish sander and then we'll bevel off the edges. Now that we've got that smoothed out the way we want it, we'll let that stop. Then we're going to take our 120 grit on our palm sander or finish sander and we're going to sm smooth this out on both sides. Now that we have that sanded down and we've got it smooth so it'll sit smooth on the surface we've got to decide what we're going to do with our edges and so then we can either round them or we can just take a sander and bevel them off just a little bit so uh, when we come back we'll take a look at how we can finish this up okay so now I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and round the edges on uh, our cutting board so what I have here is I have uh, what's called a palm router and this palm rounder will uh, allow us to do different cuts around the edges and all kinds of different things if you add the different bits. So what I've got is I've got a bit here that is going to actually round the edge. And if you look at that silver bearing there, that's what you put up against the board so you get a straight, straight cut. So I'm going to use that and we're going to go ahead and put an edge on it. And as always, before we use hand tools or power tools, put on our safety glasses. So I'm going to turn this on and we're going to go ahead and start. So as you can see, it's given us a rounded edge. So we're going to take that, and I've had it clamped down, so I'm going to do uh, the other side. We'll go ahead and get this clamped down, and we'll go ahead and do one more. And then I've got to go all the way around. So I'll do that all the way around the board and as you can see it gives us a finish here so then I'm going to have to actually go ahead and do some more sanding on this to finish this up and then we'll take it in and then we're going to go ahead and put a finish on it inside and let that dry and then we'll be ready. So we finished out in the shop put our edges on our board here all the way around we've got it all sanded down smooth so now we're going to put a finish on it. Now on the finish for a cutting board, the most important thing to remember, you want to use cutting board oil, okay? 
Cutting board oil is food grade mineral oil, and this one actually is enriched with vitamin E, so our wood needs our, its vitamins also. So you don't want to use any other kind of finish other than a finish that's uh, used for um, food grade materials because you're going to be putting food on here to cut it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour this on and then we're going to seal this and get it all ready and then we'll be ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and take this oil, cutting board oil, remember you need food grade oil to put on it. And then we're going to take this and we're going to pour this on our board, pour that around. And we're going to take our rag and we're going to spread this all around. Now I've also done this where if you don't want to actually buy the cutting board oil, you can actually, I've used cooking oil. So it's kind of the, the same thing, just not enriched with any uh, vitamins to uh, finish it up. So we get that all taken care of and wiped down. Get that all smoothed out. And make sure you get all the all the different areas around your border to make sure it's all covered. So you want to have that completely covered all the way around. Take that and get that all in there, all smoothed out. And it's going to soak in, so you might need a couple of extra coats. And there we have our cutting board. So remember, always dream, think, design, build, and learn. We will see you in the shop.